Hi again. This picture. It's a picture of a little girl. This was posted uh, on the website that I used to be on as a uh, contest, as part of a contest. And uh, so obviously a child late at night. Uh, evidently she's been abandoned uh, by her parents. <coughs> or by her guardian and uh, this picture has been haunting me for months and I just kept reading the offerings uh, the poems that were being written uh, in describing this picture of this beautiful child and uh, it was basically the same thing it was uh, I'm the adult over here, and here's this poor child over here, and oh, poor child, and yada, yada. It was just tedious and deadly. <laughs> yeah, it was just, yeah, it was just, just very, very, uh, very monotonous and the same thing. So, I'd make an attempt, but I knew what I wanted to do. I didn't want to pr approach this as an adult. I wanted to approach it from the child's perspective and give the child a voice. And uh, I kept having a general idea and it's only until recently that I was able to zero in and crystallize it into a poetic concept, a viable poetic concept. And uh, <coughs> I'm sorry. And um, it's uh, it's pretty telling the expression on her face that uh, it's like she has overload, like uh, she can't feel pain anymore. So there's just a look, kind of like a circuit breaker, has gone off, has tripped, and there's there's nothing penetrating anymore. And everything's being built in. And uh, I approached it from that perspective. Also from the perspective when I was a little boy. And I remember having a dog. <laughs> an imaginary friend. An imaginary dog named Bruce. Who would protect me. And uh, I infused that into this story. Into this particular piece. So here it is. It's entitled, A Whimper of a Forgotten Child. Okay. Tell me what you think. I am not washed. I am not fed. It is so late. Past time for bed. Why traffic stops? I do not know. I saw my mommy so long ago. Too many strangers, they are so big. She jumped inside a trucker's rig. She told me sit and do not cry. And don't you ask the question why. I do not worry if mommy's back. Cause I'll be safe with my dog Jack. You cannot see him, he is not here. But I'm protected, he's always near, he watches always the very bad, like mommy's friend, who I call dad. He made me do it, and made me swear, to never tattle, when he touched air. My mommy told me, I shouldn't lie, to make up stories, or I could die. He put his hand under my shirt, then even lower until it hurt. I do not need to hurt him back. Just tell it to my guard dog Jack. Sometimes I worry and I get sad. Too many bad men that I call dad. They make me do it while they get high. And still they hit me until I cry. Now I'm on blankets with my backpack. 
So I call out to my dog Jack. No more to cry. The hurt will end. He will defend me, my faithful friend. Thank you for watching.